Hi, this is Mike Hendrickson from Velocity 2014 in New York City with Sarah Novotny. Sarah, how are you doing? Good morning, Mike. I'm doing well. Okay, so you're with Nginx. I am. And so what does Nginx do? Uh, Nginx is a web server and more at this point. We're reinventing a web service. We do uh, static or static web delivery as well as load balancing, reverse proxying, caching, and a whole bunch more services that used to live at the edge of the network. So the more part's the interesting part, right? It is, absolutely. And where is the more part going for you guys? We really want to help people as they move out of um, older hardware network accelerator kind of things, so SSL uh, termination, hardware load balancers, that kind of uh, product that used to exist on that edge of network, as I said. And as they move to the cloud or to virtualization, these things are moving more into software, and we're that software. So you're at a software layer all the way through? We are. There is no hardware in what we do. Well, I mean, there's hardware you run on top of, but it's all commodity hardware, or virtualized hosts, or cloud hosts, that sort of thing. So you sit one layer up in the stack off, off the hardware? Is that where you are? or in the virtualization, or in the virtualized host, or in the cloud instance. But we are on above the operating system. Okay, so who else does this sort of thing? Well, Not that you have to name them all, but. Our most direct uh, competitor that people think of is Apache, but then we have competitors in the hardware space that are like F5 and Radware and... Um, they do hardware solutions Yeah, the hardware well. pieces, Okay, yeah. but you're pure software. We are pure software. Okay, and so what's the... Um, the most common thing people come to you for, uh, other than speed? Yeah, it's always speed. speed. Um, so we are the largest and most used web server and um, load balancer and, and proxy in the top 1,000, sorry, top 10,000 sites by traffic. So we have more than 40% of those sites actually use Nginx to deliver it. Netflix being a classic example to deliver the, the web traffic and web assets. So is load balancing kind of a lost art or an art that people don't understand really well yet? I know I think it's a, I think it's something that people know they need and have seen it as sort of voodoo at that edge of network in the networking team whereas we're trying to move the load balancing tooling and the app acceleration more broadly so load balancing proxy and caching all of that closer to the people who own the application so the developer who's owning the application and is more uh, responsible for the app delivery and how well that works with their customer. So once you do that, then we have the people that are responsible for it now accountable for it, and that's way better than, than actually having the accountability and the responsibility split. So an example of load balancing would be like uh, the holiday season, uh, getting hit really hard. Getting hit really hard and being able to scale horizontally instead of vertically. So instead of having to get bigger and bigger hardware each year because you have more and more traffic, ideally, because your business is growing, clearly. So instead of doing that, you can add more instances in a cloud or more, um, more instances in virtualization and you can move your workloads around based on uh, what, where you need them at the time as opposed to having to predict three and five years ahead and trying to buy a whole large capital expenditure on hardware or, or building out more, more machines or, more, or bigger machines. You can do this all with uh, load balancing instead. Excellent. So Nginx, Velocity, seems like a really good mix. It's a great fit. And the conversation's been good this week for you? They have been. There's been a lot of conversations around, you guys are a fantastic open source project and we've known about you for years, but there's a company too, and it turns out there is. Excellent. Well, we look forward to seeing you at future events. Thanks Thank much. you. Have a great day.